That dent in your car tells me you must have had a pretty fun weekend, Mr. Ray. Yeah, Kev? Well, it's probably a bigger dent than you have made in your life from what I've been trying to teach you this last month. What do you think of that? All right, all right. I got a few announcements to make and then we'll get you out of here. So this Sunday, we'll be meeting at my house because the barn's getting renovated. So we're not gonna be at this location. So I want you to remember too, to bring a snack because we'll be meeting at my house earlier than usual. Okay, so also, if you had not yet had your parents sign off in the mission trip, which is in two months, please do so. And Kevin, that includes you. <laughs> All right, that is about it. Does anybody have any questions? Okay, well, let's bow our heads and pray. Dear Father, we thank you for this day. We thank you for what we've learned. We pray Come, join me in unraveling these thoughts that have been dwelling in my mind for quite some stretch of time. Thoughts capable of breaking through barriers of counterfeit personas to reach the innermost vulnerable place of a heart. You see, with God near, he hears the words that you say and he sees the things that you do. Our bodies, these bodies, are completely transparent to the one who created them in the first place. So don't bother thinking you can fool God into believing that your superficial behaviors are not reflective of your spiritual condition. This condition of your heart can be exposed in any area of your life. The pace of your heart trying desperately to keep up with the pace that you run. You're inflating your ego by staying fit due to living life by the measure of others' opinions. And all the while, your spirit is deflating on the inside due to a lack of seeing the bigger picture. God doesn't go by what you see is what you get. Every day, your own routine can work against you. You're sipping your coffee, mastering the art of laying low amidst the commotion surrounding you. You'd rather hide behind your blog or stay safe within your Facebook walls while posting how your God's not dead, as long as you remain behind your computer screen and the masks that you choose to wear. But perhaps, instead of hiding, you actually think you're giving God your all. Yet you're saying the same exact prayer every night. Even I used to do that. Repeat after me. Dear God, thank, thank you, you for this day. day. Give, Give me what, what I, I need today, today Father. Father. Be, the, Be provider the provider of my desires. desires. Please, Please keep me far from tragedy and pain. And keep me in your thoughts. In all, all these things I pray. pray. Amen. Don't you think that's reflective of a stagnant spirit? Maybe that wouldn't be occurring if you're talking to God as though he's your friend, not your boss. During your prayers and your talks, you love to do all the talking, but rarely do you find yourself doing as much listening. We talk to God sometimes with this good intention of speaking with him, but we make it a one-way conversation by shutting down the opportunity to hear from him. Isaiah 29, 13 says, these people come near to me and honor me with their lips, but their hearts, their hearts are far from me. The problem with lukewarm Christianity and culture today is that as Christians, we're going through the motions. We have this tendency to go along with what we know God yearns for us to do with an attitude that says, let's get this over with. We so desperately need to escape the danger of living day after day after day cliche Christian routines that display the lack of a genuine spiritual life. Try living a life talking to God like I'm talking to you right now. Change your connection with Him by removing your masks and stop going through the motions.